of the cabinet. We have our safety shields that we're going to open. That gives us access to two very important parts and two very important seals on the instrument. The first is up here. This is the seal between the condenser and the splash guard. This is probably the most likely reason why your nitrogen levels could be low. When the ammonia is evolved, it goes up here and leaks right out of here. To remedy that, always use the tool for tightening that. This is a very simple tool that goes right on there and tighten that down. If you see any drips coming off of here, you are losing nitrogen right there. So make sure that is always tight. Do not use pliers that will only result in breaking the plastic nut or the glass. The next area is the sample bung and the sample tube. This area, I'll take this off, this rubber bung should be replaced when it's worn and you ask yourself how do I know if it's worn? It's a very very simple test. Do yourself a favor every once in a while with a cold tube just put the tube on and grab it and try to twist it. If it twists easily that sample bung needs to be replaced. If it's nice and tight you have a good seal. There is another aspect of the sample bung to the bottom of the condenser tube. You use this tool to tighten that fitting at that point. That's very rare that that's a problem. This is very common to have a problem. And those are the seals on the front of the K375.